Hey, Theo Brown sent in this great question. Hey, there are multiple Excel tables with inventory, and I need to extract only the records where the inventory quantity is zero. And he wanted to do it with an Excel formula. Now here's the setup. We want to extract records from... Here's a worksheet, and that's an Excel table, and each sheet has a different Excel table. And the goal is from all five to just gather up all the records where quantity equals zero. So on items to order, let's first gather up all the tables and stack them vertically. Equals V for vertical, S for stack. Now, Array 1, Array 2, those will just be the interior parts of the tables with all the records. So I go to House Fridge, and to get the interior records, and I want not the vertical, not the horizontal, but in the upper left corner, diagonal black arrow, click. And that will always get all the records from the interior part of the table. Now, I have to type a comma. We can see up in the formula bar, we're on to Array 2. Click on the sheet, diagonal arrow, click, comma, array 3, diagonal arrow, click, diagonal arrow, that's the fourth table, comma, and the fifth Excel table, click. Up in the formula bar, I can see array 5, close parentheses, and when I hit enter, now we have all the records from all the tables, and we just need to filter this third column to find when quantity equals zero. Now F2, we're actually going to have to use this twice. And instead of recalculating it each time, we can use the let function, open parentheses, alt, enter to add a new line. We can define it as a variable and then use the variable name. That way let calculates the formula element just one time, stores it in memory, and reuses it. Now name one, we get to name it whatever we want. I'm going to just name it T, comma. T now represents name value one, that formula element. At the end, comma, alt, enter. And we could define more variables, but now we're on to the calculation part. This is the result that let will deliver. So filter, I would like to filter the array, T, that's all five tables, comma, and for include, we need to create an array of trues and falses with the same number of rows as the table that has a true when we see zero and a false when we see a non-zero. Then the trues and falses will filter table T. And now I need to get the third column from T and then say, are you equal to zero? So I'm using choose columns, the array T comma. And I would like just the third column. That's the whole column. Now I just ask the question, are any of you equal to zero? Now, include, that just gives us trues and falses to filter the table. Now we can check, close, control, enter, and look at that. Now all we need are field names, F2. And we'll use filter inside of VStack. The field names I want at the top, I could hard code them in, but I could also go over and get them from the first table. There's the syntax for field names, comma, and now up in the formula bar, array two, that would be filter. Now I can simply close on let and enter. Add bold. And now I've extracted from all five tables only records where quantity equals zero. Hey, wait a second. Over on House Fridge, cleats, well, there's five of them, not zero. And now, instantly, that updates. Control-Z to undo that zero. And then back over here, cleats are dynamically back in. All right, Theo, there is a formula to get the items with quantity zero. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick. Wow.